Hello. So, I feel like part of my childhood got robbed from me. When I was a kid, I feel like it was very popular for people to take little clippings from magazines and put them together in like little collages of like their dream room, their dream man, like these little vision boards for their dream house. I never got to do that. My family was relatively poor, so we didn't have money for magazines in the first place. And if we did have a magazine, I was not allowed to cut it up. Oh, and also, we weren't going to be printing stuff off the internet. Are you kidding me? Ink is expensive. So, I'm going to take the opportunity now in my adult life, where I have the time and the money to do so, I'm going to make a vision board. I feel like this has been very popular on the internet and it sounds fun and I've never done it before and I'd really like to do so. So if you would like to make a vision board, take this as your sign to do so. We'll get started. I already printed off a bunch of pictures. I already have a bunch of stuff cleaned out for the year. I'm also kind of using this almost as like a manifestation board as well because I do believe manifestation is real. I feel like when most people think of manifestation and when I first started getting into manifestation, it definitely came across as like, just wish that something's gonna happen and it's gonna happen. Nothing's gonna fall into your lap. Nothing's gonna just happen on its own. But manifestation is that process of believing something enough to where it becomes a more present object in your mind. And the more that you think about it, the more that you put forth energy into that, I feel like the more likely it is going to come true. Cover. Sometimes I wish I could manifest silence. Yeah, I, I fully think manifestation is real, but it all comes back to energy. So everything is energy, right? I'm energy, you're energy, the food you eat is energy, this cutting thing is energy, like everything is just energy and your thoughts help create your reality. So if you think something to be true, you're putting out this energy into the world. You're inviting that energy into your space of whatever you believe. And if you're putting out happiness and kindness and you know, you're putting out all these hopes and dreams, it's gonna find its way back to you. It might not find its way immediately. It might not happen the way that you kind of envision it to, but eventually these things will come to you. If you're sitting there and you're thinking, my life is horrible, I never get any good things, you know, I'm never lucky, only bad things happen to me, I'm ugly. That's the kind of energy that you're inviting back in. That I mean, that's not benefiting anyone, that's definitely not benefiting you. Part of it is putting yourself in that mindset of you already have what you're wanting to attract. And the more that you believe it, I feel like the more likely it is that it's going to actually happen. So like one thing that I did was I really wanted to, well I still do, I want to have a farm one day eventually. But in order to have a farm, I need to know more about gardening, I need to know about how to take care of animals, I need to actually have land and space to farm. Um, so I went out, I looked for a really long time and I found a piece of land that was relatively cheap. Is it enough to have a large farm? No. But is it going to be big enough to have you know, a small garden and some chickens, yeah. And that's, I mean, that's a, the first step towards me obtaining that goal. But if I have this mindset of that, that's too far out of my reach, that's never gonna happen, I'm never gonna be able to do it, then yeah, it, it's not gonna happen. You're not gonna be able to achieve it. You know, it's, it's all about your mindset. And I think this also goes hand in hand with affirmations. You know, it comes back to the confidence that you have in yourself and your abilities. Again, if you're sitting there saying, I'm ugly, I'm stupid, I'm whatever, then that's what the universe is going to show you in return. But if you're sat there thinking, my life is great, everything is great, you know, and of course, this doesn't have to be all the time, and not everything's going to be perfect, and not everything's going to work out, but it's all about changing that kind of mindset that you have. And if, if you keep working towards these goals that you have, and if you keep working towards trying to be a better person, trying to put out better, happier energy into the world and into your space, then it's gonna, it's gonna happen. It's gonna be true. 
I don't know if I'm making sense to anybody. I'm kind of rambling. I didn't really plan any of this out. I'm trying to speak from the heart, okay? But I hope you kind of gathered something from that. You know, what do you want your life to look like? And then how can you move towards making that a reality? I love crafting. I feel like I'm in kindergarten again. That's kind of what I want to embody this year, is a bunch of crafty creativity stuff. I feel like a lot of people like to complicate the idea of manifestation, right? And it kind of goes back to what I was saying, like some people like to think it's just some woo-woo bullshit little, you know, you have to like speak your wishes into a jar and then like leave the jar out under the moonlight and then it get it embodied with the energy of the celestial universe like no <laughs> manifestation is as simple as having confidence in yourself believing something to be true you know it all comes back to the mind i feel like the best way i could put it is that the more you think about something the more you want something and the more present it is in your mind the more likely you are to go out and pursue said thing. Anyway, thanks for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> I love this heart. That's so cute. That's going, that's going in the middle of the board. <sighs> yeah, I feel like we should be done with the self-deprecation and the hating life and I feel like, especially with people my age, it's such a common thing to be like, oh, everything sucks, I hate my life, I want to die. I'm like, what is that doing for you? What, What is that doing for your psyche? What is that doing for the energy around you? Are you elevating things up or are you just bringing everything down? <sighs> I want to manifest love and happiness. That's why the heart's going in the middle of the board. I'm so happy I had this. I don't know where it came from, but I just had it laying around and I was like, this will come in handy one day. And guess what? Today is that day. Don't have any glue sticks, so I'm going to use some spray adhesive. going in the middle of the heart my sweet little kitten and my lovely boyfriend I love making collages it's like my favorite art form So I didn't know how much space it would take up, but I think I printed stuff too small. So we're gonna have to print out some more pictures. That's okay. <laughs> our final product i think it came out pretty well considering the limited adhesives that i had to work with went a little overboard on a couple spots but yeah this has pretty much everything that i want to do like all my goals for the year um i added some extra places that i wanted to visit i am going to uh, mexico a couple times this year so that's super exciting 
and then I added some of my favorite quotes, some little reminders. I really want to work on my Etsy shop, so I have a bunch of like little crafty things over here. I want to make some journals to sell. Um, so that's what these guys are for. I also want to start investing this year. I already have some gold and silver, but I want to buy more. Become a little more financially independent, you know? I want to eat good foods, eat fun foods. I want to keep waking up early. I've been pretty good at doing that, but I want to keep it a little more consistent. Just treat my body right. Go on some lovely adventures. See some beautiful places. Do some fun things. I'm planning on learning how to scuba dive this year. So that's going to be super exciting. I want to get back into climbing. Even if it means just climbing like once in a climbing gym, that's fine with me. I also want to get stronger and keep working on my gardening skills. And yeah, I think it's going to be a great year. I'm so excited. You made a vision board. I want to know what you put on it. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for joining me on this little crafty project. Remember to love yourself. Remember to love others. And goodbye.